Welcome, fellow seekers, to a journey of self-discovery, mindfulness, and compassionate living. In this video, we will explore the profound wisdom and teachings found in Start Where You Are by Pema Kodron. Join me as we embark on a transformative exploration of the mind, heart, and the path to awakening. Whether you're new to these concepts or a seasoned practitioner, this video promises to offer valuable insights and practical guidance to enrich your life. Let's dive in. Chapter 1, Scorpion. Pema Kodron begins by discussing a classic Tibetan teaching story about a scorpion who repeatedly stings a frog. This story illustrates the idea that we often harm ourselves and others out of habit. Kodron encourages us to become aware of our habitual reactions and to pause before reacting. Chapter 2, Basic Goodness. Kodron introduces the concept of basic goodness, which is the inherent wisdom and compassion within every person. She emphasizes that regardless of our flaws or mistakes, we all possess this innate goodness. Chapter 3, Poison as Medicine. In this chapter, Kodron suggests that we can use difficulties and painful experiences as opportunities for growth and transformation. Just as poison can become medicine in the hands of a skilled healer, our suffering can lead to awakening and compassion when approached with mindfulness. Chapter 4, Seeing with the Eyes of Love. Kodron explores how our judgments and biases can cloud our perception of others. She encourages us to see people through the eyes of love and to cultivate a sense of openness and non-judgment in our interactions. Chapter 5, Tapping into Our Natural Warmth. The author delves into the idea that we can tap into our natural warmth and compassion by connecting with our own vulnerability. She discusses how vulnerability can be a source of strength and tenderness. Chapter 6, The Cool Breeze of Impermanence. Kodron reminds us that everything is impermanent, and clinging to stability or trying to avoid change only leads to suffering. She encourages us to embrace impermanence as a fundamental aspect of life. Chapter 7, Taking the Leap. In this chapter, Kodron discusses the concept of Shenpa, which refers to the urge or impulse that arises when we encounter discomfort. She explores how we can work with Shenpa and choose not to react impulsively. Chapter 8, Smile at Fear. Kodron examines the role of fear in our lives and how it often holds us back from living authentically. She offers insights into how we can confront and transform our fears by acknowledging them with compassion. Chapter 9, The Practice of Tunglen. The author introduces the Tibetan Buddhist practice of Tunglen, which involves breathing in the suffering of others and breathing out love and compassion. She guides readers through the practice and explains how it can foster empathy and compassion. Chapter 10, Awakening Compassion. In the final chapter, Kodron emphasizes that compassion is not just a feeling but an active practice. She encourages us to extend our compassion beyond ourselves and to engage in acts of kindness and generosity. Chapter 11, The Big Squeeze. Pema Kodron addresses the idea of feeling squeezed or overwhelmed by life's challenges and difficulties. She suggests that these moments of discomfort can serve as opportunities for personal growth and transformation. By becoming aware of our reactions and habitual patterns when we feel squeezed, we can choose to respond with compassion and mindfulness. Chapter 12, Welcome to the Spiritual Path. The author introduces the concept of the spiritual path as a journey of self-discovery and awakening. She emphasizes that the spiritual path is not about escaping from life's challenges but embracing them as opportunities for spiritual growth. Kodron encourages readers to view their everyday experiences as part of their spiritual journey. Chapter 13, The Mantra of Success In this chapter, Kodron explores the cultural obsession with success and the pursuit of happiness. She challenges the notion that external achievements can bring lasting happiness and suggests that true contentment arises from within. The author introduces the idea of matri, which means unconditional friendliness toward oneself as a foundation for success in the spiritual path. Chapter 14, Getting Out of Your Cocoon Kodron discusses the metaphor of the cocoon as a symbol of our self-imposed limitations and habitual patterns. She encourages readers to break free from these limitations and embrace change and transformation. 
By stepping out of our comfort zones, we can experience personal growth and a deeper connection with ourselves and others. Chapter 15, The Essence of Effort The author delves into the importance of effort and discipline in the spiritual path. She acknowledges that cultivating compassion and mindfulness requires consistent practice and dedication. Kodron offers insights into how to approach the challenges that arise during our practice with patience and resilience. Chapter 16, The Great Eastern Sun In this chapter, Kodron introduces the concept of the Great Eastern Sun, which represents the fundamental wisdom and awakened state within each of us. She explores how we can tap into this wisdom through meditation and mindfulness practices. The author emphasizes that the path to enlightenment is within our reach. Chapter 17, The Wisdom of No Escape Kodrin challenges the idea of seeking escape from difficulties or discomfort. She encourages readers to embrace the present moment and face life's challenges directly, rather than trying to avoid or numb themselves to discomfort. The wisdom of no escape lies in fully engaging with life and finding liberation in the midst of it. Chapter 18, Smile at Fear, Again The author revisits the theme of fear, emphasizing that fear is a natural part of the human experience. Kodron offers guidance on how to work with fear through mindfulness and compassion practices. She encourages readers to smile at fear as a way to transform it into a source of strength and wisdom. Chapter 19, Three Methods for Working with Chaos Pema Kodron acknowledges the chaos and unpredictability of life. She introduces three methods for working with chaos, no more struggle, using poison as medicine, and seeing whatever arises as enlightened. These methods invite readers to embrace life's uncertainties with equanimity and to find wisdom and growth within the chaos. Chapter 20, Eight Kinds of Hardship in this chapter, Kodrin discusses the eight kinds of hardship, which include the various challenges and difficulties we encounter in life. She explores how these hardships can be opportunities for personal growth and compassion. By reframing our perspective on hardship, we can find meaning and resilience in the face of adversity. Chapter 21, Six Kinds of Loneliness Kodrin explores the concept of loneliness and its six different forms. She discusses how loneliness can be a natural part of the human experience and offers insights into how to work with it mindfully. The author encourages readers to use mindfulness practices to connect with their own inner wisdom and to recognize the interconnection of all beings. Chapter 22, Bodhicitta Bodhicitta is introduced as the awakened heart of compassion. Kodron explains how bodhicitta arises from a genuine desire to alleviate the suffering of all beings. She discusses the practice of cultivating bodhicitta and how it can transform our relationships and actions, leading to a more compassionate and purposeful life. Chapter 23, The Genuine Heart of Sadness In this chapter, the author explores the genuine heart of sadness as a source of compassion and wisdom. She discusses the tendency to avoid or suppress sadness and how embracing it can lead to a deeper understanding of ourselves and others. Kodron offers practices for working with sadness and transforming it into a compassionate presence. Chapter 24, Tunglen, The Practice of Taking and Sending Pema Kodron introduces the Tibetan Buddhist practice of Tunglen, which involves breathing in the suffering of others and breathing out love, compassion, and relief. She guides readers through the practice and explains how it can be a powerful tool for cultivating compassion and empathy. Chapter 25, Awakening Compassion The author concludes this section by emphasizing the importance of awakening compassion in our lives. She encourages readers to develop a genuine sense of compassion for themselves and others. Kodron reminds us that compassion is not just a feeling but an active practice that can transform our relationship with the world. Chapter 26, A Spark of Doubt Pema Kodron acknowledges the presence of doubt in the practice of meditation and compassion. She discusses how doubt can be a natural part of the spiritual path and encourages readers to view doubt as a spark that can ignite deeper inquiry and understanding. Chapter 27, Five Slogans for Training the Mind Kodron introduces five slogans for training the mind, which are concise and powerful statements to help transform our thoughts and behaviors. These slogans offer practical guidance for facing challenges with compassion, 
letting go of attachments, and embracing the present moment. Chapter 28, Looking into the Mirror The author discusses the concept of looking into the mirror as a metaphor for self-reflection and self-awareness. She encourages readers to examine their thoughts, emotions, and reactions without judgment, fostering a sense of self-compassion and understanding. Chapter 29, Meditation, The Only Way Out Is In Kodron emphasizes the transformative power of meditation as a means of turning inward and gaining insight into the nature of the mind. She provides guidance on how to establish a meditation practice and offers insights into common challenges and misconceptions about meditation. Chapter 30, The Monkey Mind The monkey mind refers to the restless and constantly wandering nature of our thoughts. Kodrin discusses how meditation can help calm the monkey mind and bring greater clarity and presence to our lives. She offers practical techniques for working with the mind's natural tendencies. Chapter 31, When Things Fall Apart, Again Kodrin revisits the theme of adversity and the inevitability of things falling apart in life. She underscores the importance of resilience and compassion in navigating difficult times. The author encourages readers to see adversity as an opportunity for growth and awakening. Chapter 32, Open Your Heart In this chapter, Kodrin explores the practice of Tunglen in more depth. She discusses how Tunglen can be used to open the heart and develop greater empathy and compassion for others. The author provides practical guidance on incorporating Tunglen into daily life. Chapter 33, Shaky Ground Kodrin acknowledges the instability and uncertainty of life. She discusses how our attempts to find security and stability can lead to suffering and offers insights into embracing the uncertainty as a path to greater freedom and authenticity. Chapter 34, When the Going Gets Rough The author addresses the challenges and obstacles that may arise in our spiritual practice. She encourages readers to persevere through difficult times and to view challenges as opportunities for growth and transformation. Chapter 35, The Binds That Tie Pema Kodron explores the idea that we often bind ourselves through attachments and aversions. These attachments can keep us stuck in habitual patterns and suffering. Kodron encourages readers to recognize these binds and to cultivate a sense of inner freedom through mindfulness and compassion. Chapter 36, Awakening Compassion In this chapter, Kodrin revisits the theme of awakening compassion. She emphasizes that compassion is not merely a feeling but a practice that involves taking action to alleviate suffering, both within ourselves and in others. The author offers practical guidance on how to express compassion in daily life. Chapter 37, The Aggression of Self-Reflection Kodrin discusses the tendency to approach self-reflection with aggression or self-criticism. She encourages readers to cultivate a gentler and more compassionate attitude toward themselves. Self-reflection, when done with kindness and non-judgment, can lead to greater self-awareness and growth. Chapter 38, Flickering Thoughts The author explores the nature of thoughts and how they constantly arise and pass away in the mind. Kodrin provides insights into observing thoughts without attachment or aversion, fostering a sense of spaciousness and clarity in the mind. Chapter 39, Only Connect Kodrin discusses the importance of connection and relationships in our lives. She encourages readers to approach relationships with an open heart and to cultivate genuine connections with others. The author emphasizes that compassion and loving-kindness are essential qualities for building meaningful relationships. Chapter 40, The Four Limitless Qualities In this chapter, Kodrin introduces the four limitless qualities, loving-kindness, compassion, sympathetic joy, and equanimity. These qualities are central to the practice of bodhicitta and can be developed through meditation and mindfulness. The author provides guidance on how to cultivate each of these qualities. Chapter 41, Heart Training Kodrin discusses the concept of heart training as a way to awaken and develop the qualities of the heart, including love and compassion. She offers practical exercises and meditation practices to help readers engage in heart training and expand their capacity for compassion. Chapter 42, Let the World Speak for Itself 
The author encourages readers to let go of preconceived judgments and to approach the world with fresh eyes. By allowing the world to speak for itself, we can experience a deeper connection with reality and a greater sense of wonder and appreciation. Chapter 43, The World is Your Guru Kodron reminds us that the world itself can be our greatest teacher. She discusses how every experience and encounter can offer valuable lessons and insights if we approach them with mindfulness and openness. Chapter 44, The Practice of Equanimity Pema Kodron introduces the practice of equanimity, which involves maintaining inner balance and composure in the face of life's ups and downs. She discusses how equanimity can help us navigate the challenges of life with grace and compassion. Chapter 45, Six Kinds of Loneliness, Again. The author revisits the concept of loneliness and its six forms. Kodron emphasizes that recognizing and acknowledging our own loneliness can lead to greater connection and compassion for ourselves and others. Loneliness, when approached with mindfulness, can be a doorway to understanding the human condition. Chapter 46, Six Ways to Approach Fear In this chapter, Kodron discusses six different approaches to fear, including denial, desensitization, and surrender. She explores the limitations of each approach and encourages readers to approach fear with mindfulness and compassion, allowing it to be a source of wisdom and growth. Chapter 47, Regard All Dharmas as Dreams The author introduces the Tibetan Buddhist teaching of regarding all phenomena as dreams. Kodron explains how this perspective can help us let go of attachment and aversion to the events of our lives, fostering a sense of lightness and freedom. Chapter 48, Examine the Nature of Awareness Kodron invites readers to examine the nature of awareness itself. She discusses the practice of looking directly at awareness and recognizing its clarity and spaciousness. This practice can lead to a deeper understanding of the nature of the mind. Chapter 49, Begin the Sequence of Sending and Taking with Yourself The author revisits the practice of Tunglen, which involves breathing in the suffering of others and sending out love and compassion. She encourages readers to begin the practice by focusing on themselves, cultivating self-compassion as a foundation for extending compassion to others. Chapter 50, Set Sail on the Breath Kodron explores the practice of mindfulness of the breath as a means of developing awareness and presence. She provides guidance on how to engage in breath meditation and how it can be integrated into daily life. Chapter 51, Nurturing the Dedication The author discusses the importance of nurturing dedication and commitment to the path of mindfulness and compassion. She encourages readers to stay connected to their sense of purpose and to continually renew their dedication to the practice. Chapter 52, Six Ways to Experience the Emptiness of Ego Kodron explores six ways to experience the emptiness of ego, including relaxation, being fully present, and letting go of preconceived ideas about ourselves. She discusses how recognizing the emptiness of ego can lead to greater freedom and openness. Chapter 53, The Birth of Ego Hema Kodron delves into the concept of ego and how it forms as a result of our thoughts and perceptions. She discusses the ways in which ego creates a sense of self and separation from others. Kodron encourages readers to examine the nature of their own egos and to recognize its illusory nature. Chapter 54, Chod Practice In this chapter, the author introduces the practice of Chod, a Tibetan Buddhist practice that involves confronting and offering one's body to demons and ego. Kodron explores the symbolism and transformative power of this practice, emphasizing its role in dismantling egoic attachments. Chapter 55, Start Where You Are, Again Kodron revisits the book's title, Start Where You Are, as a reminder to begin our practice from our current state, without judgment or striving. She emphasizes that the present moment is the starting point for our journey of self-discovery and awakening. Chapter 56, The Wisdom of Emptiness The author discusses the concept of emptiness as a fundamental aspect of reality. She explores how recognizing the emptiness of phenomena can free us from clinging and attachment, leading to greater clarity and compassion. Chapter 57, The Great Eastern Sun, Again Kodron revisits the theme of the Great Eastern Sun as a symbol of awakened awareness. 
She encourages readers to connect with this inner wisdom and to view their experiences through the lens of awakened consciousness. Chapter 58, The Practice of Dedication In this chapter, Kodron explores the practice of dedication as a way to infuse our actions with meaning and purpose. She discusses how dedication can transform ordinary activities into acts of mindfulness and compassion. Chapter 59, What to Do When There's Nothing to Do the author encourages readers to embrace moments of stillness and inactivity as opportunities for meditation and self-reflection. Kodron discusses the practice of just being and allowing things to unfold naturally. Chapter 60, Three Meditations. Kodron introduces three meditation practices, Shamatha, Vipassana, and Matri. These practices focus on developing calm abiding, insight, and loving kindness, respectively. She provides guidance on how to engage in these practices and their transformative effects on the mind and heart. Chapter 61, Making a Mandala Offering The author explores the practice of creating a mandala as an offering to the awakened beings and as a representation of the world as it is. Kodrin discusses the symbolism and intention behind this practice. Chapter 62, Making Friends with Hope and Fear Hema Kodron discusses the relationship between hope and fear, recognizing that both can be sources of suffering when we attach to them. She explores the practice of making friends with these emotions and using them as stepping stones on the path to awakening. Chapter 63, The Permithas Kodron introduces the six Permithas, or transcendent perfections, as foundational practices in Mahayana Buddhism. These Permithas include generosity, discipline, patience, diligence, meditation, and wisdom. The author explores how these practices can be integrated into daily life to cultivate compassion and wisdom. Chapter 64, Meditation, Living a Life That Matters. The author emphasizes the profound impact of meditation on our lives. She discusses how meditation allows us to live a life that is more aligned with our values and intentions. Kodron encourages readers to approach meditation as a way to connect with their inner wisdom and to make choices that reflect their deepest aspirations. Chapter 65, Experiencing Unconditional Well-Being Kodron explores the concept of unconditional well-being, emphasizing that our inherent well-being is not dependent on external circumstances. She discusses how recognizing this well-being can free us from the cycle of suffering and attachment. Chapter 66, A Social Worker in Berkeley The author shares a personal story from her time as a social worker in Berkeley, illustrating the challenges and complexities of working with individuals in difficult circumstances. She reflects on the importance of compassion and non-judgment in such work. Chapter 67, Don't Bite the Hook Kodron discusses the metaphor of biting the hook as a way to explore our habitual reactions and patterns. She encourages readers to pause before reacting impulsively and to develop the capacity to respond with mindfulness and compassion. Chapter 68, Breathe Into It The author introduces the practice of breathing into it, which involves using the breath as a tool for staying present and grounded in challenging situations. She provides guidance on how to apply this practice in everyday life. Chapter 69, The Practice of Compassion Kodron explores the practice of compassion as an antidote to self-centeredness and ego. She discusses how cultivating compassion can transform our relationships and our sense of self. Chapter 70, The Four Limitless Qualities, Again. In this chapter, Kodron revisits the four limitless qualities, loving-kindness, compassion, sympathetic joy, and equanimity. She provides additional insights into these qualities and how they can be cultivated through meditation and daily life. Chapter 71, Empty-Bellied Enlightenment Hema Kodron explores the concept of empty-bellied enlightenment, which refers to the realization that external possessions and achievements do not bring lasting fulfillment. She encourages readers to look within for true contentment and satisfaction. Chapter 72, The Wrathful Deities the author introduces the concept of wrathful deities in Tibetan Buddhism. These deities represent the transformative power of wisdom and compassion. Kodron discusses the symbolism and significance of wrathful deities in the spiritual journey. 
Chapter 73, Four Methods for Arousing Bodhicitta Kodron discusses four methods for arousing Bodhicitta, the awakened heart of compassion. These methods include contemplating the suffering of others, recognizing the kindness of others, recognizing one's own suffering, and using slogans as reminders of the path. These practices help readers cultivate a genuine desire to alleviate suffering in the world. Chapter 74, Bodhicitta Practice The author provides guidance on how to engage in Bodhicitta practice, which involves actively working to benefit others and awaken compassion within oneself. She discusses how this practice can be integrated into daily life and interactions with others. Chapter 75, Confusion Dermas Kodron explores the concept of confusion dermas, which are situations and experiences that trigger confusion and emotional turbulence. She discusses how mindfulness and meditation can help us navigate confusion dermas with wisdom and compassion. Chapter 76, The Six Realms of Existence The author introduces the six realms of existence in Tibetan Buddhist cosmology. These realms represent different states of mind and suffering. Kodrin discusses how recognizing these realms can lead to greater empathy and compassion for all beings. Chapter 77, The Path of True Refuge Kodrin discusses the path of taking refuge in the Three Jewels, the Buddha, the Dharma, teachings, and the Sangha, spiritual community. She explores the significance of refuge in the spiritual journey and how it provides support and guidance. Chapter 78, Take the three objects and three poisons and place them on the path. The author introduces the practice of transforming the three objects, friends, enemies, and neutrals, and the three poisons, desire, aversion, and ignorance, into the path of awakening. She provides guidance on how to work with these aspects of our lives to deepen our practice. Chapter 79, Abandon Poison All at Once Kodron encourages readers to abandon the poisons of desire, aversion, and ignorance in a radical way. She discusses how this practice can lead to profound transformation and liberation from suffering. Chapter 80, Three Meditations, Again Pema Kodron revisits the three meditation practices introduced earlier, Shamatha, Calm Abiding, Vipassana, Insight, and Matri, Loving Kindness. She emphasizes their importance as foundational practices for developing mindfulness, insight, and compassion. Chapter 81, A Quiet Cave The author reflects on the value of solitude and quiet contemplation. She encourages readers to find their own quiet cave within, where they can connect with their inner wisdom and clarity. Kodron discusses how this inner sanctuary can serve as a source of strength and guidance. Chapter 82, just one thing. Kodron emphasizes the simplicity of the path to awakening. She encourages readers to focus on just one thing at a time, whether it's a meditation practice, a slogan, or a moment of mindfulness. The author reminds us that small, consistent efforts can lead to profound transformation. Chapter 83, Patience is the Key. The author discusses the essential role of patience on the spiritual path. She acknowledges that transformation takes time and that patience is needed to navigate the challenges and obstacles that arise. Kodron encourages readers to cultivate patience as a powerful virtue. Chapter 84, Space Kodron explores the concept of space as a metaphor for spaciousness of mind and heart. She discusses how space allows for greater clarity, freedom, and the capacity to respond with compassion. The author encourages readers to create space in their lives for mindfulness and self-awareness. Chapter 85, The Open Way The author discusses the open way, which involves living with a sense of openness, curiosity, and vulnerability. She explores how the open way leads to a more authentic and compassionate life. Chapter 86, Don't Believe Everything You Think Kodron reminds readers not to take their thoughts too seriously. She discusses the tendency to believe and identify with our thoughts, leading to suffering. The author encourages a more detached and mindful relationship with thoughts. Chapter 87, Don't Wait In this chapter, the author emphasizes the importance of taking action and not waiting for ideal conditions or circumstances. 
Kodrin encourages readers to begin their journey of compassionate living and awakening now, with the resources and capacities they have at this moment. Chapter 88, A Wish for the World The author shares a heartfelt wish for the well-being and awakening of all beings. She expresses her hope that readers will continue to walk the path of compassion and mindfulness, benefiting themselves and the world. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.